This is the Acara application for the Acara Camera Hub G3. Starting at the front page here, this is completely editable, we'll call it. If we come down here, we can select the edit and we can move things around or we can remove them entirely if we don't want them here. Simply selecting edit, we can change the name if we wanted to and then save. We can also personalize kind of the image. We can upload something if we wanted to. We can cancel or save from this page. I'm gonna come back. Starting at the top, we have home and then I can edit the dashboard, change the dashboard management, secure monitoring or home board. So this will give you, hey, here's weather, disarm your alert system, and then the camera itself. Or we can come over to the security monitoring area, which is useful if you have one camera, which will allow you to disarm and arm your security system. And then live view, so if I tap right here, this will bring up the live view of my singular camera here. Or if I wanted to, I can scrub back through everything. You can see it's orange for the cloud, indicating that I don't have cloud storage. I'm gonna pause that because a lot of this, we actually can access from here. Now I can select the icon right here, which will bring up a floating version of this. And in fact, if I shrink this down, it will live outside of the application. But to see everything we can do with the G3 Hub, I'm gonna select the icon itself. That's gonna bring me in. Here we could see the name of my camera. We could see the bit rate that we're currently looking at. I can double tap and it will zoom in. There is my cat just hanging out on the couch down there. You'll see that there is a pet icon in the lower left-hand corner. That comes into play a little later. I'll explain that. Here we have an indicator for privacy mode. If I select that, the camera will turn itself off. And in fact, the camera lens itself will rotate letting you know it's not actively recording anything. Here we have a camera icon. That's a quick snapshot. So that takes a picture of whatever's in the current live feed. To the right of that, we have our record. If I select that, that will record everything that's happening in the live feed. So if there was motion happening, then that would be recorded as well. I can stop that and it is saving them to the album. I'll show you that a little later. To the right of our record, we have our two-way talk. If I turn that on, my camera is now talking to my cat. And if we look at him, he might be wondering what's going on and why he is not being fed yet. We're gonna turn that off to not bother him too much. And then we have our pause button. If I select that, it will pause the live feed, requiring me to press it again to start play. And then it establishes the connection. Now we're looking at a live feed again. Coming down, we have our infrared remote control. Right now I don't have that set up, but if I wanted to, I could set this up as like an IR blaster for a TV, DVR, lots of options here. That's because this is not just a camera. This is also a hub, which is just crazy when you think about it. In the middle here, we have our controls so I can move the camera around. So if I aim this all the way down, that's the end of its movement. I do wish it had a notification letting you know, hey, I can't go down any further. If I swipe on the screen, you can see that there is movement that you can do without having to use the toggle, but you do have a directional pad there, which makes things a little easier. You have your predefined positions. So you have centermost, leftmost, rightmost, topmost, and bottommost. If I go to my centermost, it will recenter things. If I wanted to add, I select the plus sign here, say, hey, this is the location, and then hit save. Now this is going to be at the location that you had it at. So make sure you uh, have it where you want. I could select edit and this will allow me to edit this location. So I can move things around or if I come back in here, I can move things around if I had multiple predefined locations. Now, this is all under our controls. If I move over to our advanced, this is what that icon means. So the dog and cat tracking means that if a cat wanders through frame, the camera will actually follow them. You can also have this for human tracking. However, notice you can only do one at a time. You have the ability to cruise. So this will allow you to set up locations for it to cruise to. So it's similar to presets, except it will kind of pan to those locations within a five hour time frame. We have our face detection, which you can turn on and off and use with tracking humans or cats. You also have your gesture identification, but notice you can either do faces or you can do gestures. And the gestures will allow you to take a recording, take a snapshot with specific hand gestures, which is interesting in concept, but I haven't found myself really using them. We have our more right here because, well, there's a lot of extras that we can do, but this is actually the 
settings for the camera that's just accessible from this more. We'll get to that a little later. And then come down to our timeline. Here we can see this camera is recording 24 seven, so I can scroll back through stuff to find what I'm looking for. I can, still from here, record what it's seeing, snapshot, and call. Now I can scrub for an event. Notice I can't filter for an event, but I can go back to specific days through my timeline. If I select album, this is gonna bring you to two locations. Screenshots and recordings. These are the things that I did with you where I took a picture and I took a recording. Right there, I'm taking a recording. From here, I can delete, play pause, or share. And if I wanted to, I can select delete and select multiple items to delete. And then we have our published videos. These are triggers that have happened. So this is actually me walking through, getting things together. There, I'm coming out of the basement. Same thing as before, except now we have a download button right up there that we could select to download this clip from the camera. But that's human. I can do face detection, don't have face detection on currently, abnormal sound detection, motion detection. Well, since I have the people turned on, it's not gonna do that. I have my animal detection. So now it's breaking down animals. And here, if we come in here, here's an example of animal tracking and the camera is following him. And since he is a diabetic, I like having this camera there so it can track where he is. We have our alerts, automations. I don't have anything set up for those, but that's where all of that is located. We have our services. If I come over to here, this is gonna be for things to purchase. So 90 day event history, correlated events, security events, and here it's gonna let you know plan and pricing and I don't use that. So it's there if that's what you're interested in. Back to our advanced, we have our more options here for the settings or three dots in the corner there also bring us to our settings for this. If I select this icon right here, this will allow me to change the name, its location, and then some basic information, user guide, FAQ, device privacy, manufacturer, and then extra information for your firmware. However, if we want device card, this will allow us to change the image as well as the icon for the camera in the application. We also have the ability to change its default room area. Coming back, we have our cloud storage. Now it says I can get it for free because currently they're running a special, but uh, I don't want that. I'm using local storage, which here you can see the status of the SD card, the space used, what type of recording mode I'm doing. So I'm doing continuous. I could do event recording or I could select stop recording right from here. I have loop recording, meaning that the oldest files will be overridden once everything is done. And then I have NAS storage, if attached to a NAS, which I'd not, but it's nice that it's there. Coming down, we have albums. So this is another way that we can access our albums from before. We have exposed to matter because yes, this is a matter capable device. So not only is it a Acara hub, you can turn it into a matter hub as well. Well, child devices, well, I only have the one Acara device. I don't have child devices for this. Network information uh, would show me my network information and how I'd be able to change my network. Firmware update, well, if I need to, I could select that and click check for firmware. If you did have a firmware update, there would be a red dot there. You have related items and devices. So if I select this, it's gonna show you, hey, scenes that it's attached to. Here we have my logs. Don't really have that many logs for this camera, but there you could see. Enable, stop, this is pretty much all while I was just doing this with you. You can add a home shortcut and then remove this device, that big accessory. And that is everything that we can do for the Acara Camera Hub G3 in the Acara 